Good day and welcome back to Chemistry Videos. My name is Clarissa Sorensen Unruh and we're going to continue our discussion on statistics. I realize it's a departure, but it's something that I feel like needs to be done. Okay, so let's talk about populations versus samples. Because populations versus samples allows us to talk about statistics as well. So here's the thing. Right? If this is my population, then what is my population? Well, the population includes everyone that you're interested in. So it, has, it includes every, um, a group that encompasses every subject of interest. Let's put it that way. Now this is interesting, right? Because if you're doing a, uh, perhaps a study on males over 40 in the United States, then the population would be every single male in the United States that's over 40. It's a big group, right? So that's part of the problem that we're dealing with in statistics. That is very different from, um, so when I, let me finish that thought about population. We use parameters to describe some characteristic of this population that we want to measure, right? So this is um, a measurement, measurement of a characteristic that we're interested in for the entire population. Right? So when we're talking about this, we want to do uh, these measurements that describe something, right? We're interested in some specific thing about males over 40 in the United States. We're gonna measure something about that, okay? Now, in terms of this, can we measure the population? Can we measure actual par parameters? Can we measure something about a characteristic of a population? Well, no, not most of the time, and why can't we? That's the real question, right? The reason why is because it takes a heck of a lot of time, right? So you have to get you, you would be measuring millions of data points. It costs a lot of money, right? So it is basically uh, almost impossible to do it just because of money. It takes a lot of money. And there has to be interest by all of the males over 40 to you know, do whatever, however you're collecting this data. They have to all be there. And you have to have access to them, right? Right, so why not measure parameters is really what this should be called. Why can't we measure that? Well, the reason why is because we don't have enough time, we don't have enough money, and we don't have enough access to all of those subjects in the population. That's why we don't do it that way. Okay, so what we do instead is we take a subset of that population, right? And this is called my sample. And when I take a sample, right, I want that sample to have not only the characteristic of interest in common with the population, but, but we, I probably want it to be as indicative of the population as I possibly can, can get it, right? So I want it to have as many aspects in common with the population as I can possibly get so that when I write, when I, when I write, when I do some measurements 
of the characteristic of interest on the sample, I can then say, OK, those are also indicative of the population. So what are the measurements called? Those are called statistics, right? So statistics are exactly the same thing as parameters, except for the sample. They're a measurement. of a characteristic, I'm trying to use the exact same definition, which is why I'm using, looking over there, characteristic of interest for the sample. And we're hoping our sample is as close in almost every way we can make it to the population so that we can basically say, when I measure something about the sample, that could also be true about the population. And when I make that statement, right, when I say the measurements I made on the sample are indicative of the population, that's a process that we call inference, right? So we're inferring that the sample is enough like the population that we can actually make those kinds of judgment calls. Statistics include things like means, right? So I have means right so an average right i have things like standard deviations and the reason why we use a uh, mean and a standard deviation in such close contact most of the time is cuz they have the same units okay variance is actually a little more indica indicative of what's actually going on. That's the square of the standard deviation. So just FYI. We could also use um, the uh, proportion. We could talk about how many of them there are, right? How many people are in the sample. So that's a total number. Number of subjects in the sample or the population. Let me just put that as a total number of subjects. Okay, which we can sometimes say is the sample size. That's the way we talk about that. Okay, but these have different letters. These have different uh, ways of talking about them in statistics, depending on whether you're talking about the population or the sample. If you're talking about the sample, right? Here's my sample in the middle here then this is many of the things that you've come to know, right? So the sample uh, mean is looks like that. Standard deviation is just S. We tend to do it as S of X, right, of whatever you're talking about. And then the variance is S of X squared. And the total number of subjects, um, or you could do a proportion, or what number, uh, total number of subjects tends to be labeled by N no matter what you're talking about. Okay, whether you're talking about the sample or the population, which sometimes gets confusing, not gonna lie. All right, population. If I'm talking about the population, then these get different letters, right? So here, when we talk about the population, we're gonna show that mean by the Greek letter uh, mu. Standard deviation is when you, say, when you see sigma, Right? And you can say sigma of x, or you could just say sigma. Sigma squared is going to be my designation of the variance. Okay? So recognize that in statistics, we, the, in the science of statistics, we are constantly doing this. We're trying to figure out what measurements we can take that are as uh, that are of a sample group uh, subset of people or things or what have you that is as indicative of the entire group that we're interested in as much as possible and that is pretty much statistics at its core all right until next time